Amadu Bello was born on June 12, 1910, in Rabba, Sokoto State, the son of a district head and heir to the Sokoto Emirate. His great-grandfather was Sultan Bello, son of the revered Usma Dan Fodio who founded the Fulani Empire, which was the largest in sub-Saharan Africa. Amadu Bello received his education first at the feet of Muslim masters, studying the Quran, the Hadith, and Sharia, then at Sokoto Middle School, the only modern school at the time in the Sokoto province. He then proceeded to the Katsina Teachers Training College. After spending five years at Katsina, he was appointed by the Sultan as a teacher in his own former school in Sokoto. In 1934, he was made the district head of Raba within the Sultan's administration. Four years later, he was promoted and sent to Gashahu to become a divisional head. In 1938, he made an unsuccessful bid to become the new Sultan of Sokoto. The successful Sultan immediately conferred on him the title of Sarduna, and elevated him to the Sokoto Native Authority Council. He first became politically active in 1945, when he helped to form a youth social circle, which later in 1948 affiliated with the NPC of which he became President General in 1954. In 1948, he was offered a scholarship to study local government administration in England. Amadu Bello took the scholarship, sensing he needed to develop his knowledge about the process of governance. After returning from England, he was nominated to represent the province of Sokoto in the Regional House of Assembly, and elected. As a member of the Assembly, he was a notable voice for Northern interest and embraced a style of consultation and consensus with the major representatives of the Northern Emirates, Kano, Bornu, and Sokoto. As the movement for independence from the British Empire gathered momentum, Bello emerged as a strong advocate of federalism as the system of government that in his view was most suitable for Nigeria. This was especially attractive to northern Nigerians, who had a history of sharing power. He may also have wanted to protect the north from what he perceived as the possibility of southern domination. He also served on the National Constitutional Drafting Commission as a representative of the north. In the first elections held in northern Nigeria in 1952, Amadu Bello won a seat in the Northern House of Assembly, and became a member of the Regional Executive Council as Minister of Works. Bello was successively Minister of Works, of Local Government, and of Community Development in the northern region of Nigeria. In 1953 and in 1957, he led the northern delegation during independence talks in London. In 1954, Bello became the first Premier of northern Nigeria. In the 1959 independence elections, he led the NPC to win a plurality of the parliamentary seats. Bello's NPC forged an alliance with Dr. Namdi Azakiwa's NCNC to form Nigeria's first indigenous federal government which led to independence from Britain. In forming the 1960 independence federal government of the Nigeria, Bello as president of the NPC, chose to remain premier of northern Nigeria and devolved the position of prime minister of the federation to the deputy president of the NPC, Abubakar Tafawa Balewa. He apparently did not want to live in Lagos and preferred the political climate of the north from that of the south. His disinclination to head the national government also suggests that he was not interested in power for the sake of power but in serving the people whose votes had elected him to office. Bello's many political accomplishments include establishing the NRDC, subsequently became the NNDC, the Bank of the North, the Broadcasting Company of Northern Nigeria, BCNN, and the Nigeria Citizen Newspapers. The North was less developed economically than the South, and Bello argued that it was necessary for the North to catch up with the South for the sake of national unity. He traveled constantly across the North, meeting people and listening to their concerns. Imadu Bello was a practicing Muslim. He married five times. In 1955, he performed the Hajj, becoming Al-Haji Imadu Bello. From then until his death, he visited Mecca annually to perform the Umrah. He walked every day to his local mosque for prayer. He chose, work and worship, as the slogan for northern Nigeria. Bello established a reputation for religious toleration. On 15 January 1966, Bello was assassinated by Major Chukwuma, an Igbo Nigerian army officer in a coup which toppled Nigeria's post-independence government. He was still serving as premier of northern Nigeria at the time. This was the first coup in the history of Nigeria, which heralded the rise of the military in the country's politics. Also assassinated in the coup was his longtime friend Alhaji Sura Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, alongside many political elites in the north and in the west. Bello's greatest legacy was the modernization and unification of the diverse people of northern Nigeria. 
he was awarded several honorary doctorates, including the Doctor of Law from UNN, University of Nigeria Hunzuka, in December 1961. He was honored by the country from which he had helped to negotiate independence, being made a Knight of the British Empire by Queen Elizabeth II in 1959 just before the end of colonial rule. He founded the Amadou Bello University in 1962, the second largest university in Africa, which is named after him. He was the university's first chancellor. Nigeria's 200 Naira carries his portrait. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next video.